Uh, camp went really good. Everyone stayed healthy. Um, it was only shoulder pads and helmets, but we got a lot accomplished. Um, you know, it, it, it first three days or two days, you can only wear your helmets. And so that camp, we kind of feel like we get ahead of the game because those first three, first three days, you're just dragging your feet waiting to get to pads. Yeah, I would say camp and throughout the entire summer. Um, everybody looks good in shorts, and that's kind of the old cliche saying. But once we put shoulder pads and helmets on, especially up front with linemen, we can tell who actually uh, is physical enough to play football. And so I, I, I like what we see. <laughs> it means the start to the busy season. You know, I, th I think there's this perception that coaches love two-a-days, and uh, that's not necessarily the case. I look forward to the first game week. You know, um, the second week of two-a-days is nice because we have pads and we can do all the things we want to, but right now we're still in the heat of the fundraising part of football, the um, getting guys registered, making sure they filled out paperwork and all that stuff. So it's kind of three days of a lot of house cleaning stuff. Once we get through that, then it starts to feel more like football. Um, you know, I don't think it has a great impact. I think the first week is, because we're still only in helmets for three days, it is, uh, it's just a lot of learning, a lot of conditioning, um, things like that, a lot of team building stuff we try to get done, and like I said, we try to hit any fundraising stuff we'd have to do throughout the season, we try to get done in that, that short period of time, parent meetings, things like that. Um, I think the second week becomes pretty critical. Um, you know, that, that entire first week will all be basic drill, skill, uh, learning how to get in your stance, you know, all that stuff, making sure 9 through 12 is, is comfortable and safe and prepared for uh, live contact football. And then the second week, we'll officially start preparing for Eastview. Um, the second week of two days, though, we'll probably focus on uh, a few of the, um, you know, bigger teams in the conference that we know we need to be prepared when that time comes. But that first week, we play on a Thursday, so you only get three days to prepare. So we will definitely start preparing for ECU beforehand. It, it does, but because it's after all of that two-a-days and, and, and all those practices you get in, uh, everyone's just so hungry to actually start, um, you know, start playing. The guys don't really see a break from anything until after that first game. You know, and so we choose to play on a Thursday because then we give them Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. And I know a lot of schools don't do that. Um, we give them a little break right at the start of that season, and then we get at it again on Monday. Ah, oh, no, the games, there's no question. High school football in Lakeville is, it's pretty special. Uh, a lot of, very small town feel, I think, where uh, we'll get, you know, thousands of fans at games. When we play south, the place will be packed, people sitting up on the hill. Homecoming's always exciting. Um, if we make a good run, the section's exciting. But even on games when we're playing a team that hasn't won a game and it's raining outside, we'll still look it up at our stands and there'll be, you know, a full student section and, you know, 500,000 fans who still come out to watch the games. So uh, it's always exciting, you know, having been from Lakeville to get to see that reaction from uh, our players and get to see them kind of feel like a big deal, you know, in this kind of small big city. Uh, playing in the Metrodome. I think we've we've gone to state twice in the last four years. Um, we've we've you know quote unquote overachieved, or as I like to think of it, maximized our potential. Um, we've been we've been good for the last four years, and I want to be great. I think uh, with the talent that we have, if we don't play in the Metrodome, I think it'd be disappointing. Well, for starters, they got to lead off the field. Uh, anyone can lead on the field. That's extremely easy. You know, we get a lot of senior leadership on the field. I mean, it's not like the old days where they lead stretching or anything like that. Even as far as practice time, they're like every other player. Um, but we expect them to be leaders in the school. It, little things like not wearing their iPods in the hallway. You know, I mean, I want them to be visible to, to everyone in the school. I, I don't want to say that they're you know, a bigger deal than anyone else. But the reality is if you're the high school football captain, you're going to 
you're going to attract a lot of attention. And so I want them to be respectful, you know, kind, good people uh, in the classroom and in the community. And then on game day, I need them to be leaders on the field. I need them to uh, keep a calm head, you know, kind of a con controlled chaos. Uh, it's an emotional game. I need their emotions to stay in check. I need them to be able to command the huddle. I need them to be able to speak appropriately to referees. And I need them to be the type who can uh, communicate to us when they come off the field and kind of give us the feel, tell us what they're seeing. Because um, a lot of times those captains are guys that have been chosen by the, the rest of the team that, um, you know, the, they have that leadership and that ability to, to communicate in that fashion that the guys will follow. Um, I, I expect to have a great year. I really do. I think um, we have an exciting, explosive offense. I would be really surprised if they didn't score a lot of points this year. I think every year we've had a really tough defense to, to score on. Um, I anticipate that being the same this year. There's going to be some good teams in this conference. I think Prior Lake's going to surprise people. Um, Rosemont Eastview South, they're always going to be tough games to play. We play Dinah this year, so we got a tough schedule ahead of us. But uh, I feel really confident that, uh, that we can come out of this conference at the top or near the top um, and play at home throughout the section, get to the state tournament, let the chips fall. But I, I feel pretty strongly that, that we're going to get an opportunity to play in the Dome this year.